welcome to Working Horses with Jim. I just got home from shopping today. I looked over and here is Kingsley family. And they have bought firewood from us for a few years. And today is a day off from school for them. And here they are all working together. It makes me really happy to see a family working together like this. I think we mentioned it on a video previously. But they're all getting in here and doing their, their work. Working like busy beavers. The only one who's not here is dad and he's probably at work, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hi everybody, time to send a couple more steers to the butcher. We have four in here. Actually, we have two steers and two heifers. And uh, we're actually gonna take a steer and a heifer to the butcher this morning. So we have a different setup than we usually use. The pen's there. And then we're gonna open up this, this gate right here. And then hopefully they will run through here and run right into the trailer. And I have a, some nice second cutting in here, so hopefully that'll go well. We'll show you. Somebody, is, somebody has asked on my comments how I move my cattle, how I handle them. Well, my cattle are not at all like my horses. My horses, I handle them every day, and they're used to me, and they, you know, they do great. My cattle on the other hand, are just about the opposite. I don't spend a lot of time with my cattle. Um, they are outside most of the time. And even this bunch right here, were inside this pen all last winter. They still never got really used to me. And so they're very skittish of people. I wish I had more time to fool with them, but it just seems like with everything else going on, I just can't take the time to do that. But anyways, this is, this is how we handle the cows. So I, the gate is just tied to the doorway and I use this gate to separate. I want two of them out and two of them in. So that's what I'll do here. Doesn't always go this smooth, but today it just went really smooth. I got the two outside that I wanted and these two are staying here. The black steer in this pen is going to a, a local farmer. I sold him to, to him. He wants to butcher him next year. And the heifer, I will keep for a replacement heifer. I will probably butcher a couple of my older cows this fall and keep her for a replacement heifer. I was hoping the two beef that I put through the gate would go right onto the trailer, but it didn't go quite so well as I thought. So I. These two kept coming over there, so we hayed these two over here, and it still took a good hour before they went up into the trailer. They were nervous enough, I didn't want to try to push them, so I just left them there, and I kept coming back and checking on them, and eventually they were both in the trailer, so I jumped over the gate and shut the gate of the trailer, and I caught them. Jim's got those beef loaded, and He's headed off to the butcher. Thank you guys for your service. Yeah. See ya. Well, it's nice to get that job off the list. It's always a worry when you have a date for the butcher and you're not sure how hard it's gonna be to load the animals but thankfully everything went well we always say a prayer before we get started hi everybody so now that the corn harvest is completed uh, I thought I'd give these 
harness is a little wash. Most of them are the um, bio. They're the um, the reins are leather, but most of these two harnesses for Lady and Bill are bio, and so I am just going to wash them down first. But uh, one of our viewers recommended a product that I thought we would try. It's called 303. We got it from Amazon, and um, it's a it's for it's for clear vinyl and you just spray it on and wipe it off and then you got to rub it till it's really dry. So I thought we would try that because they recommended it. Thank you very much. And um, it's also supposed to help with UV protection and just kind of put a coating on it that's supposed to last for a few months. So that'll be good. So I did go over this one harness already and just wiped off the the major dirt with my uh, my cloth. I love my Norwex cloths and I use that. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and spray it on and, and rub it off and see how that works. And we'll, we'll go from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray some of this on and just wipe it off. I got an old t-shirt that I'm using to wipe it off with. And no, it's not a Working Horses with Jim t-shirt, but we do have a lot of those available if you're interested. Just um, check on our link below. They make great Christmas presents. Anyways, um, this does seem to shine it up nicely. A little bit goes a long ways and um, I'll let you know when I get this done so harness number one is done and I think the product works really quite well I'm going to try harness number two untouched not wash it down first and see how it works it's asking quite a lot I think for for a product to clean this much dirt but um, we'll see what happens one of the other things that Jim said there was quite a few comments on and we well we both noticed it is that uh, what about the horse's legs what did we do with all the mud on the horse's legs after they were done in the cornfield and as you can see, they have some mud on their legs right now. This is nothing compared to what it was the last, when they started the, um, the field. But nonetheless, there is some, some mud on their legs. And we found that the best thing to do um, was to leave it till the next morning and then it brushes right off. I know some people uh, mentioned, do you... Um, wash it off we do, we're not really set up for that and the horses aren't really used to it so we just do it that way and uh, the horses are amazingly wash and wear because they they can be covered with mud and and you can brush them and and they're just as shiny and beautiful as as can be so the way they are created is just absolutely amazing and they seem to be able to to weather all the things that they have to go through. So we'll see how it goes with the next harness and getting it cleaned up. I just did want to say um, that I think that people who show horses are amazing because this takes so much time to do this, to clean these up. It takes a lot of time and effort. And uh, of course, maybe the show horse harnesses aren't as dirty as these are, but still, there's a lot to it. So um, kudos to them. Okay. okay, so we have a cleaned harness. I did end up <clears throat> um, washing some of it down first, but I think this product works very, very nicely. 
it just uh, was so caked with dirt that I, I took one layer off. And honestly, it could be gone over again, but it's a lot better than it was. I didn't even get to the bridles today. I will be doing those as well. But it's nice to have them cleaned up a little bit. I just wanted to let you know also, these are our calendars for next year. We have quite a few copies left. So if you're interested, the information on how to purchase these is in the link below. Also, we do have an Amazon store. We haven't done much with it, but um, any product that we use uh, um, is in the link below in, in our description. So you can just click on the link if you want to go and see that product on Amazon if you're interested. And then we get a small commission from it. But basically, we just show you what products we like to use. Um, if you're interested, our, the things that we use for our filming and all that are there and any other products we've talked about on our channel. We really appreciate your support and hope that you're enjoying our channel and hope that you will continue to support us and watch our channel. Thanks for coming along with us today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please, if you haven't subscribed to our channel and would like to, please click the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified every time we have a video, um, tap the bell.